All right, and let's revisit our top story tonight in national elected and religious leaders. Eulogized the departed Bishop Cornelius Career as a fierce crusader for peace and called on Kenyans to learn to live together in harmony. The late Bishop Career was laid to rest this evening in Eldoret. Elvis Koske has more. <laughs> Eight o'clock in the morning, the cottage left Sacred Heart of Jesus Cathedral. <music> Mourners from Fund Wide were here at the Eldoret Sports Club for the funeral service and Holy Mass for the departed Right Reverend Bishop Cornelius Kimgeno Arab Korir. President Uhuru Kenyatta and Archbishop John Cardinal Njue led national and local leaders to celebrate the life of the peacemaker, committed shepherd of the church, and a staunch defender of human rights who served without discrimination. Let us equally, as we have been told here, do everything that we can to emulate what he did how he lived his life, his respect for human dignity, his respect for people irregardless of their color or ethnicity, and his deep desire to see a peaceful, united Kenya. Political correctness, political convenience was not part of his script. He said, what he believed in, in a language and in a manner that he was unapologetic about his position. People of um, uh, Gericho, people of uh, um, uh, now Eldoret, you know, who are connected in a very special way, and indeed all those who have been able to relate with the bishop, let us manifest our gratitude. President Kenyatta hailed the man of God as an icon of peace who dedicated his time to peaceful coexistence and harmonious relationship among communities. Rongai Member of Parliament Raymond Moi, who read a speech on behalf of retired President Daniel Toroi teacher Rap Moi, described Korir as a mentor to many. Let us all agree that we can live here and each one of us becomes an instrument of peace. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. I pray to God to give the church, the family, and friends of Bishop Korir the necessary fortitude to bear this loss. Bishop Korir, ali badilisha maisha yangu binafsi, tangu ni juwe miaka kumi na saba iliopita, na tulikuwa na usiano nzuri tangu ni kue seneta wa Elgeo Marakwet, na tumefanya kazi na wakristo wengi ambao wanatoka Elgeo Marakwet County wenye wako hapa. However, the head of state had something up his sleeve. That our democracy is growing. That yes, we can disagree. But we will wait for the processes laid down in our constitution and law to resolve our problems. And if we can do that by respecting the institutions that we have given unto ourselves, through the Constitution, Kenya can and will be a great nation. Then came the burial ceremony. Eldoret town came to a standstill as all roads led to the Sacred Heart Cathedral where the Catholic traditions and rituals were initiated. The casket bearing the remains of the late bishop was placed in the tomb 2.9 meters long and 1.2 meters high located at the grotto of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a small room behind the altar. Inscriptions of his personal details including his date of ordination and date of death had been written on an adjacent slab. Ile article ambayo nasema askofu akifa akiwa ofisini tuko na ile option ya kuweza kumzika kanisani ama katika sehemu ya kanisa ambayo imetengwa makaburi ya askofu The government will donate 20 million shillings to complete the construction of Segutet Secondary School in Bomet County with the late bishop career started Elvis Kosgei KT News Wasingishu County